Hi you guys. Today we are going to look at another solar panel. We're looking at the Sun Jack 40 watt panel. If you've been with me for any length of time, you'll remember that I've done two reviews on the older Sun Jack 25 watt panel. I take this panel with me everywhere. Um, I bought this one. I liked it so much. I bought another one, so I have two of these. I also bought two uh, power banks that go with it. They're 10,000 mAh. But Sun Jack came out with a 40 watt. Before they had the, tw the 15 watt, 25 watt, and then went directly to a 60 watt. So people were saying, hey, what about a 40 watt? And the reason for this is it's still fairly portable at three and a half pounds, um, but it will charge more than the 25 watt, but it still remains portable. When you get to the 60 watt, that's more, you know, you're driving it around only. Um, this one is still carryable, although I probably wouldn't backpack with it where I would backpack with the other one. Um, but let me open this up and, and let's take a look at it. All right, so here the panel is all set up. Uh, it has four panels in it. The 25 watt has uh, same size panels, but there's only three of them. Now the panels it themselves have been changed as well. So we'll look at this panel. You can see these are kind of like in squares and these are more in stripes. It's still ETFE, it's still 100% waterproof, but what it is is more rugged. So this one will stand up to a little bit more abuse than this older version. Of course, they have newer versions of this too. This one is several years old now. Again, this is the 25 watt. We're gonna go ahead and put this aside and check out the backside of the 40 watt. So some of the changes that they've made are with the uh, 40 watt at least because it's new. I shouldn't say changes. I should say improvements from the 25 watt. So they've got kickstands here and they just snap back in place. And it's got um, a lot of uh, adapters in the back zipper compartment, which is called a garage. And then here are the plugins. So let's take a look at that. So before we flip it around, I'm going to show you the uh, solar panel specs. Um, and I'm going to take a screenshot of this at the end. I'll put it up there so you guys can really drill down and take a look at it. 40 watts, uh, monocrystalline, ETFE. You get the dimensions, 9 by 12 and a half, um, and open 35 by 12 and a half. Again, this is inches. We're in the United States. 3.5 pounds, 1.59 kilos. There are three ports, a USB-C, so you can charge USB-C to USB-C which very cool. Uh, they have a USB-A port and uh, the DC-3 port. Now that's very exciting. We'll take a look at that because they give you 10 adapters. So you, you, there's an adapter for almost everything that you can charge um, that would you know, be chargeable by this open circuit voltage, 25.1, short circuit, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, max amps, 20.9. Um, maximum power current 1.9 24% efficiency but you know that's the way it goes uh, and again operating temps and of course as always the hotter a solar panel gets the less efficient it is although this one is made to operate in higher temperatures which is pretty interesting we'll look at uh, what comes with this uh, right now all right so the back we have the garage and in the garage, open it up, and what we have here. All right, so we've got the DC plug adapters. You can see we've got all different types of them. This comes with the kit, and you can see I can't think of one that would come in, that I would use that isn't already here, you know. And then, uh, let's see, the DC splitter, and this is for charging those power stations. Yeah, this will charge a portable power station, a solar generator or a battery. So you've got these with it. And um, then of course I've, oh, and it comes with the USB-C to USB-C. And then I've added a, uh, a USB to uh, USB-C, just to the regular port plug-in. And then um, let me put all this back in there. All right, so I've got it all zipped up nicely. And then we can see 
you plug in on the side, which makes it pretty easy so everything goes out the side instead of having to um, make sure that there's nothing in the way, you know, when you're using this. You've got an LED light to make sure everything's rocking and rolling. This is also waterproof, which is interesting because I had made a suggestion that maybe they wanted to close these up, but then we decided if you did that, that's just another part to get lost, and it's waterproof, so uh, there's really no need for that. And then they uh, did silicone it down. It's all in place, so it should be pretty water resistant. You know, they say waterproof, but like anything, you just don't want to sink this in a bunch of water, right? So just don't be foolish about it. So I've been using this for several months now, and I have to say everything I've thrown at it, it's charged. It's faster than the 25 watt. Um, I have charged everything I can think of with it. Um, the cell phones, my laptop, even charged with it. Now keep in mind that when you are charging things like laptops or high value items, you only want to charge directly if you have no other option. What you want to do is to get a power bank, and any power bank will charge. Um, these are the 10,000 mAh, so usually we charge these and then use these to charge cell phones, flashlights, the walkie-talkies, the radio uh, lights, uh, on and on and on and on. Um, they do have a 25,600 mAh, and that's what can charge a laptop. And then they also have these light sticks. Um, here's a large one and a small one. I'll do another video on this if you guys care about it, but it's both a light, get out of there, a light and a power bank. So you've got a light, you can hang it, um, but it's also a power bank as well, and it's waterproof and all that stuff. Anyway, perhaps I'll do a video on the power banks themselves. So uh, just to be clear, the best way to charge anything is to use a power bank. Any brand power bank will do. These happen to be the Sunjack uh, versions. I have four of these. I just bought two more as a gift for a friend, um, and they work really well. So overall, I, I do highly recommend this. Um, they sell them on Amazon and directly off the web page. So I'm going to go ahead and link both of those things down below for you guys if you're interested. I don't get any kind of commission or anything like that. This is just a uh, brand that I really like and uh, they do a lot of good in the community. So if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I will try to answer them for you. Their customer service is very, very responsive. While I've had this panel, I have um, actually had a few questions and I sent messages and I got answers within 24 hours during business time. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good company. It's a small company. They do work abroad nationally. They help nonprofits. And uh, I used to only recommend Goal Zero, but then um, I found Sunjack, and uh, it's made in the USA. I just, it's a, good, it's a good company, it's a good brand, and this is uh, what I buy now. So even for my friends, and of course for your preparation kits, I have an extra set of these with power banks in my Faraday cage. I have an extra 25 watt. Uh, with power banks in my Faraday cage. I take this everywhere. Um, I'm going to take it down to Mexico again this year. You guys know I live abroad for uh, four months a year, and last year I traveled around with that 25 watt. This beauty here, that's why it's all dirty. Actually, that's why they're both all dirty, because they've been everywhere, and uh, really put it through its paces. So, uh, yeah, I think they're good, and uh, if you want them, they're reasonably priced. So I think uh, the 40 watt by itself is 129 bucks on Amazon and on their webpage. Um, the day I'm making this video, there is a coupon for this on Amazon. Again, I'll link it. Again, I don't get a commission or anything like that. Just check it out if you want to. Uh, for sure, go to their webpage at sunjack.com. Uh, check out their FAQs. Uh, they'll tell you everything that any nerd wants to know about uh, the, the uh, solar panels, stuff that I can't answer, um, like about voltage and wattage and all that stuff. They've got their nerd guys there and gals for you. Um, and uh, yes, they ship internationally. Some countries, they have a problem shipping ion or lithium batteries. So um, there is that, but the panels themselves ship internationally. So 
anyway you guys let me know if you have any questions uh, let me know if you want me to do a, a separate video on the power banks and um, yeah I'm gonna order the laptop another laptop power bank and um, we're gonna charge up my laptop so anyway thanks for watching and uh, take it easy